Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Codeban Digest. Today in this tutorial, we will learn what is retry design pattern for microservices. Yes, friend, in this tutorial, I will explain what is retry design pattern, where to use it, what are the advantages of this design pattern. I'll also give you the real world example of this design pattern. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and informative tutorial today. There is a lot of learning involved in this video. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about blue green deployment design pattern. Can you explain what is blue green deployment design pattern? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. So for more information, go and watch the previous video on Codeban Digest channel. What you need to understand, Susan, is that everyone has an agenda, okay? Friend, here is the agenda of tutorial today. I'll give you introduction of retry design pattern. Then we'll understand what is limiting of the retry. Then we'll understand adding delays in retry. Then we'll also understand how can we do retry selectively. We will see the real world example of retry design pattern. Then we will understand where to use retry design pattern. What are the advantages of retry design pattern? And then later I'll summarize what we learn in this video. And briefly, I will also touch about next design pattern that is access token design pattern. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. It is going to be very, very exciting. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow our code one digest family. Thank you. Okay friends, so now let's start with the retry design pattern for the microservices. In microservices architecture, the retry pattern is commonly used design pattern for recovering from the transient errors. An application lose a connectivity for a short period of time. A component is unavailable for a short period of time. This usually happens during the maintenance or automatic recovery from a crash. A component is overloaded and cannot accept new requests for a short period of time. This could also be due to throttling or rate limiting implementation. As you can see, these errors are self healing. In this case, it makes sense for the client to retry the request. We are living in the age of microservices. We can split a monolithic application into multiple smaller applications called microservices. Each microservice is responsible for single feature and can be deployed, scaled and maintained independently. Since microservices are distributed in nature, various things can go wrong like network issues, latency, too many requests or services themselves can fail. There can be intermittent network connectivity errors. Service can fail due to prod eviction, out of memory errors, temporary unavailability of dependencies, deployment environment failures, hardware failures, etc. So to make our services resilient to these failures, we adopt the retry pattern. If caller service receives an unexpected response from a request, the caller service sends the request to a callee service again. If request failed due to some transient faults, example, network issue, database connection issue, etc., retrying can be very useful. Retry pattern is used extensively with the circuit breaker design pattern for microservices to prevent the cascading failure in the services. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk. All right. Friends, let's understand what is limiting the retry. In case of failure, we said that calling service will send the retry call again, but continuously retrying until we get an expected response is not a good idea. The retry from all the failed requests will keep getting accumulated and cause a high load on callee service. If the callee also depends on other services, a huge number of requests might be triggered and can result in a cascading effects. If the callee service is in the failed state and later it recovers, 
the huge number of accumulator requests can overwhelm the system and can result in the failure of service again if the calling service is in failed state due to overload itself the huge number of accumulator requests can prevent the service from recovering another side effect of huge number of accumulator requests is that they can also clog the network and can affect the performance of other services so while using the retry pattern we should limit the number of retry attempts as given in the diagram like we should define the number of retry that we want to attempt after the configured number of retry we should stop retrying any further that is the whole purpose of this approach really okay friends let's understand why it is important to add delays between multiple retries Adding delay between retry can help in making our services tolerant to transient failures. We add delays in the hope that by the time we make the next retry attempt, the fault is rectified. There are various ways to add delay between the retry attempts like exponential back off mechanism, like increasing the interval exponentially after each attempt. Then second is incremental interval. That is increase the interval incrementally after each attempt regular interval wait for a fixed interval between each attempt so these are some mechanism where we can wait between the multiple retries as shown in the diagram like after attempt 1 we are waiting for some time and then attempt 2 again we are waiting for some time and that's how we trigger the retry call this also helps us in preventing from clogging the network otherwise we'll be keep sending too many requests and our network will get clog right friends what the hell are you talking about now now let's understand that we should do a retry for selective calls ideally we should only perform retry if there is some chance that the request will succeed when reattempted for example if the access token associated with the request is invalid there is no point in retrying it so we should retry only if the certain types of exceptions are raised like connection refused error or network error or something like that there is no point in trying blindly for all the failures we have to take call thinkfully that which particular error we should retry and which error we should not right friends make sense now let's see a real world example of this design pattern if you see in this flow diagram retry design pattern is used with the circuit breaker design pattern If you have not seen the circuit breaker design pattern tutorial so please go and watch the circuit breaker design pattern tutorial the link is there on your screen Now retry design pattern is used extensively with the circuit breaker design pattern where the purpose is to prevent the cascading failure of microservices if one service is down so the caller service should not be calling the failed service multiple times the purpose of circuit breaker design pattern is to prevent the cascading failure by by retrying it with a limited number of attempt and if service is still in the failed state then calling service will not be making any more calls to the failed service so please go and watch the circuit breaker design pattern it is going to be very very useful wow that's amazing now let's see another example of retry design pattern If you see in the screen that application is sending request to a hosted service and if it gets a 500 error that means server error then it makes another attempt if it again sends a 500 error then the application makes a third retry call where the call gets successful hence the retry design pattern is useful in certain scenarios where the transient error get fixed automatically right friends <laughs> no okay friends now let's see some of the use cases of retry design pattern use this pattern when the application could experience a tra transient faults these faults are expected to be short lived and repeating a request that has previously failed could succeed on a subsequent attempt use retry pattern for self resiliency use retry pattern to achieve the self recovery self recovery from failures use this pattern to improve the system availability you're goddamn right okay friends now let's see some of the advantages and benefits of this design pattern retry design pattern helps in 
achieving the self resiliency it reduces the risk for us it helps in making the self recovery from transient errors this pattern improves the system availability you're good okay friends so now let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today i gave you introduction of retry design pattern then we understood the limiting of retry attempts then we also understood the benefits of adding delays between the retries then we also understood the selective retry mechanism then we saw the real world example of retry design patterns then we understood the use cases of retry design pattern then i explained you the advantages of retry design pattern so friends let me know if you have already used this design pattern in any of your project or seen a scenario where this design pattern can be useful please provide your answer in the comment section of this video i understood the assignment friends in the next video i will discuss about access token design pattern i'll explain you what is access token design pattern what are the use cases of access token design pattern what are the benefits of access token design pattern and i'll also show you the real world example of access token design pattern so stay tuned for the next video and keep watching codeban digest if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to our channel to grow codeban digest family friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you